In one of the last truly wild corners of southern Spain, a secretive predator defends its final stronghold. The misty mountains of Andalusia are home to the rarest wild cat on earth, the Iberian lynx. A cat that looks death in the face on a daily basis. But can it cheat death and hang on to survival? It's time to journey into this fragile wilderness to track the lives of these wild lynx in intimate detail. Enemies await at every turn, but the rewards can be great for the supreme hunter. We follow two females living on different sides of the tracks, one in the mountains, the other in the lowland swamps. Two cats with one mission, to escape being caught by extinction's sweeping net. This is the incredible story of Spain's last lynx. Iberian lynx were once a common sight throughout the Iberian Peninsula, but now little more than a hundred remain in Spain. Among them, Sierra, mother of three, patrols the Morena Mountains to the north, while a young female we know as Vari stalks the lowlands of Doñana around the southern coast. Our story begins in the Morena Mountains. The prehistoric looking forest here is as mysterious as its feline overlords. Serene and peaceful to the human eye it may be, but for the animals that live here, this place is often hard and cruel. Spring arrives, bearing hope on its warm breeze. While flowers bloom, the animals seem to forget their problems for a time. A rocky outcrop is a sun trap for a very special litter of lynx cubs. After three weeks underground, they enjoy their first taste of the big world. These three kittens are too young to know how harsh the world can be. Their mother will have to be vigilant if her family is to stand a chance. By the law of averages, one of her babies will be dead before it's a year old. We call her Sierra, after her mountain home. She's a devoted mother and spends much of each day searching for food. A lynx can occupy a territory as big as 20 square kilometers, depending on the abundance of prey. Sierra's range is high up in the hills that locals call the Black Mountains due to the once impenetrable forests that covered this area. It's time to hunt. Skilled in the art of stealth, Sierra works on setting an ambush. But she must stay aware. Other predators, just as hungry as she is, are also on the prowl. With their strength in numbers, the wolves are serious competition. This group prepares for a hunt with a call to arms. The wolves can cause havoc for Sierra, disturbing prey as they fan out noisily through the forest.
the mouflon sheep panic and bolt for cover. The wolves look on, but unusually don't give chase. Stop, perhaps assuming that they haven't been followed. But solitary and silent, Sierra is about to make her move. With their focus on the wolves, the sheep are unaware as she glides in, barely making a sound with her large padded feet. Forward-facing eyes and rotating ears enable her to lock in on the target, a young sheep that has been separated from its flock. She's close enough to smell it, but patience is her virtue. Suddenly, she assesses that the time is right to move in for the kill. And she strikes. A large mouflon is a rare prize. Rabbits make up most of the lynx's diet. This kill will feed her family for several days. But her victory may be short-lived. There's always someone else looking for an easy meal. The wolves are closing in, so she eats quickly, hoping to bulk feed in case her prey is snatched away. Sierra is now torn by conflicting instincts. Every meal counts for her young family, but an encounter with the wolves could prove fatal. Caution wins, and she forfeits the trophy, slinking back into the safety of the shadows. A close call. She'll have to watch her step. In Andalusia, there's danger at every turn. Sierra's cubs play at honing the skills they'll need to hunt in later life. Their mother will fend for them for seven to ten months. After that, they'll have to go it alone. The games are halted by the arrival of heavy rain. Sierra will wait with them for better hunting weather. These cubs have been born in troubled times. In the last few decades, the Iberian lynx has suffered an 80% reduction in its range. They used to be valuable hunting trophies, but thankfully, an agreement not to shoot the lynx has been reached. But it could be too little, too late. If things do not improve, the sun could set forever on the lynx, and in as little as 20 years, they could be extinct.
The rain did some good. It prevented the smell of the dead mouflon from drifting very far, and the carcass is still where Sierra left it. Under cover of darkness, she risks going back. So far, only an eagle owl has noticed the lynx return. But more interruption is on its way. In behavior sometimes seen in other cats, Sierra tries to hide the remnants of the carcass. She carefully scrapes up grass in an attempt to disguise the body. The observant owl is the first to spot the intruders. The wolves that spooked Sierra earlier have finally been drawn in by the damp smell of the mouflon carcass. For the second time today, she must abandon her kill. As a day dawns over the Sierra Morena, the riverside plays host to the battles of others. The sharp eyes of a diminutive wildcat have spotted the bright flashes of some azure-winged magpies. Similar to a domestic cat in appearance, the wildcat shares the feline hunting strategies of the lynx. Silent, highly agile, and able to use their surroundings to maximum advantage. But despite being built for the kill, studies show that only one in ten hunts is successful. That's a lot of effort for little reward. Magpies are fine-tuned to spot the advances of a predator, and they break for cover. In their hilltop retreat, Sierra's cubs have been left alone all night, and she must return and suckle them. At no more than half Sierra's size, the wildcat slips quickly out of her path. It's best to avoid confrontation and conserve energy. Weighing up to 12 and a half kilograms and with a wingspan of nearly three meters, the massive cinerous or black vulture surveys the action below. This is one of Europe's largest birds. On colossal wings, they glide vast distances in search of food. Timing is critical for this family. The gawky chick hasn't eaten for days. The parent hasn't eaten either, and the best it can do is to offer its baby some shade from the blazing sun. Its partner circles overhead. To better its chances of success, it soars higher, exploiting thermals deflected off the hills. 
Vultures have acute eyesight and are able to spot prey from great distances. Both adults hunt to feed their chick. Over the year, they need to find some 600 kilograms of food. It's a big investment, but this intense parental care maximizes the chick's chances of surviving to maturity. Just like the lynx, black vultures are an icon of the Spanish mountains, but worldwide their populations are also in decline. The vulture flies south to try its luck in the lowlands. These are the wetlands of Doñana, a lush lowland of swamps and plains. Here the animals face a whole new set of challenges. This is Vari, and this is her patch. Adapted to this grassy environment, her coat has larger spots than that of her mountain cousin. Her camouflage allows her to get close undetected and even try hunting unusual prey like this red-legged partridge. Just like Sierra, Vari relies on a high-speed strategy. She must get within critical strike zone. Close, but the partridge wins this round. By rights, Vari should be hunting rabbits, not birds. But today, rabbits are not so plentiful. In the 1950s, a French doctor infected rabbits with a disease in an attempt to protect his vegetable patch. That disease was myxomatosis, and the rest is history. An epidemic swept across Europe, destroying up to 99% of rabbit populations in certain areas. But it turned out to be disastrous for predator as well as prey. After an initial glut of sick rabbits to eat, the lack of repopulation meant that prey numbers declined dramatically. But now, hope is on the horizon. In an attempt to redress the balance and help the last of the lynx to recover, scientists are working to restore the food chain by bringing back the rabbits. Rabbit and lynx share a dynamic bonded by evolution into a perfect predator-prey relationship. By boosting prey numbers, scientists hope the lynx population will follow suit. Ancient Romans knew Spain as the land of rabbits, and they spread the species throughout their empire. Rabbits are tough little creatures, and against the odds, there are still some wild rabbits here. Now, with the reintroduction project boosting their numbers, the population is quickly growing. They can provide over 90% of the lynx's diet. The success of the rabbit will dictate the future of Spain's last lynx. For their first three weeks, rabbit kittens stay safe and warm in their fur-lined den. But it won't be long before these youngsters will meet their arch-enemy head-on.
Researchers are in a race against time to understanding the habits of the few remaining wild lynx. Knowing how they live is central to ensuring their survival. But to really be able to know a lynx, they must first catch it. A pigeon is a temptation that's just too good to resist. The lynx won't be harmed in the trap. The researchers approach behind a rug to reduce stress to the animal. After sedation, a radio collar is fitted. This is the most reliable method for gathering the vital information they need about the cat's range and its interaction with other lynxes. The young lynx soon recovers from being captured. It leads the researchers into the dense scrub. It's clearly unperturbed by the radio color. Elsewhere, other methods are being used to unravel the secrets of the elusive lynx. This young female has found an irresistible lure, a cork covered in lynx urine. She's yet to realize that she's walking into a trap of a different kind. She's caught on camera before sloping off into the night. This method of research gives up close and personal information without disturbing the animals. It has yielded some spectacular results. This team of biologists has created family trees, identifying individuals by the patterns on the lynx's fur. The photos tell a tragic story, though. In this area, barely 50 Iberian lynx remain. Vari is one lynx to benefit from the scientists' work. Her territory lies in the heart of the rabbit reintroduction program. She stalks this new land of plenty. Rabbits must watch their back. It's hoped the agile hunters will follow them in making a comeback. With her perfect rabbit catching design, the outcome is assured. Drag marks in the sand tell of a rabbit's demise. As an adult, Vari needs the equivalent of a rabbit a day to stay fit and healthy. A thousand calories of goodness in one helping. It's a welcome boost, but she can't afford to drop her guard. Tough times lie ahead. Food doesn't come easy for the creatures of Andalusia. It pays to watch your neighbors. Some animals have learned to read the signs, maximizing the chances of survival. High in the Sierra Morena, vultures spy on one another. One bird dropping from the sky acts as a beacon, drawing others to cash in on the discovery. 
The hungry vulture chick's parent is the first to spot the remains of a carcass. But competition is close behind. It attempts to shield its prize from hungry eyes. This harsh environment sees five giant birds muscle in for a pitiful reward. With a precious chick waiting at home, it's worth fighting for the meager remains. The parent got a few mouthfuls before the hordes descended. But finally, the rabble drives it off. It takes what it can for its chick. A hero's return awaits from its lifelong mate. Parenthood is eight months of hard graft. Doting parents express delivering meat for their growing baby. Their single chick is a huge investment, but parental dedication will increase its chances in the big wide world. If all goes well, their ungainly bundle of joy could be soaring over the mountains for the next 25 years. A break in the scrub affords a rare glimpse of Link's family life. Vari has been concealing a single cub born several months before. Soon she'll lead it through her territory in preparation for its adult life. Naturally inquisitive, the playful cub wants to investigate everything. Vari can't afford to drop her guard. Although her litter is small, even the survival of her lone baby is far from assured. Cubs learn many survival skills from playing with their siblings. Being an only child, this cub's education lies entirely with Vari. For up to 11 months, the cub will shadow his mother. Then he'll have a sort of soft release, living alone for a few months within his mother's familiar territory, before finally going out to search for a patch of his own. Surrounded by human development, the lynxes of Donyana have become a stranded gene pool, isolated from the other remaining Iberian lynx. Their diverse range is crisscrossed by streams, feeding a wealth of wildlife. Vari's large mobile ears pick up the tiny sounds of a dormouse, but the rodent is also on full alert. The hunt is on. success at last, but the effort taken will barely match the energy provided. A watering hole makes a perfect ambush as animals descend at night to drink. This is Uda, another of the research team's study animals. Ducks have poor sight in the dark, but they sense her presence. But Uda is well fed, and like other animals, has come here to quench her thirst.
being distracted by drink can bring close encounters. Tonight, attack is the best form of defense. The deer has a fawn nearby and boldly approaches the lynx to remove any threat to her infant. Uda's slaked her thirst anyway and moves on, not wanting to risk a blow from the hind's powerful feet. But she catches a scent in the air. Another lynx is nearby. To avoid confrontation with an aggressive neighbor, she slinks off into the darkness. The alert red fox is right to be wary. Besides competing with them for food, lynxes sometimes prey on foxes. Even when drinking, it can't afford to let its guard down. The stranger in the shadows turns out to be Vari. She's not after water this time. The thick cover around the waterhole is perfect for concealing a hunting predator. Lynx know of a seasonal available treat. Every summer, ducks are grounded. Annually, they shed their wing feathers. While melting, they can't fly and are in grave danger of attack. A trail of feathers betrays their location. Running deeper into the grasses, they play right into Vari's trap. In wetter areas where rabbits are scarce, a well-fed duck makes the perfect reward. Elsewhere in Andalusia, other hunters are using their finely honed skills in the night air. Navarro is one of the few dominant males left. The huge tom patrols a large range, monitoring the neighborhood females and keeping other males at bay. Navarro is the model male, formidable in size and an accomplished hunter. Once he's dined on the choicest cuts, the mysterious feline slinks silently back into the darkness. The mornings in Doñana are met by a wealth of wildlife. Grey lag geese fly in for breakfast to search the rich marshland areas.
The grass shoots they eat are so low in nourishment, they must spend most of their waking day eating. They're not the only ones warming up for the day. Primordial sounds come through the damp morning air. The spotted fallow deer gather for their annual rut. This species originated east of the Mediterranean, but it's thought that the Romans introduced them to Europe. Hormone-fueled bucks mark the rut with ritualized fights. There are uninvited spectators. Lynx concentrate on rabbit prey, but are capable of taking larger targets. Distractions make the deer particularly vulnerable. Sentinels spot her and alert the group. Vari sharpens her claws for the next try. The coastal terrain of Doniana offers an unusual mix of environments. Lynx can seek prey in open rolling sand dunes or densely packed woodland. Relentless human encroachment tightens the noose around Lynx territories. Oases of wilderness offer a final safe haven. But conflicts seem inevitable and there can only be one victor. Their ranges are now crisscrossed with roads and fences. Sierra is still on the hunt for food. A cluster of rocks offer the hope of a good hunt. as long as others don't give the game away. It's a question of persistence. Hunting in the rocks will test her reactions and agility. She must work harder as she can't force the rabbit into open ground. Now she needs somewhere private to eat her reward and turn it to milk for her all-important family. The black vulture is still dependent on his parents for food and water. Their never-ending regime of supply and demand continues. They spend increasing amounts of time away from the nest in a bid to encourage its independence. A daily exercise routine helps strengthen massive chest muscles that'll power its huge wings, ready for the day that they will carry it on thermals high above the plains. Mum and Dad swap guard duty, eagerly watched by their inquisitive chick. 
Soon it'll join them in the air, staking a claim in the crags and slopes, fighting for a place at a carcass. The lowlands of Doniana aren't the only stage for a deer rut. Imposing red deer stags wander through the lower reaches of the Sierra Morena to compete for females. They announce themselves to all around, drawing other males to the battlefield. Females, too, are in high spirits. They watch on, performing their own hierarchy rituals to ensure access to the best resources. Posturing, face pulling and boxing break out amongst the ranks. This is the perfect time for a stealthy hunter's ambush. As the normally alert deer let their guard slip, hungry mouths rush in. Although they'll work together in the kill, they're more reluctant to share the spoils. A strict pecking order has to be respected and is reinforced with bad teeth. Being active in the kill doesn't earn any special favors at the dining table. Lower ranking animals must wait their turn. The downside of family life is that it takes a lot of food to feed so many mouths. The pack will soon have to hunt again. It's a sad but familiar commentary. The year is drawing to a close and already Sierra's litter has been reduced to a single cub. What he lacks in skill, he makes up for in enthusiasm and willingness to learn. To make it to adulthood, he must hone his talents quickly. He must keep up the schooling and rely on his mother's dedication just a little longer. It's a critical time readying him for the impending life alone. Sierra's a careful mother, but the lure of rich feeding grounds could spell disaster. The fences mark a dangerous death zone for the protected lynx. Tragedy strikes, despite his mother's care. The last of Sierra's cubs falls foul of the roads. Iberian lynx are protected by law, but that doesn't protect them from accidental encounters from human populations. Even away from the roads, illegal killing goes on. Indiscriminate leg traps are devastating to many animals, claiming the lives of many lynx each year. A few survivors are rescued from the traps, but with leg bones shattered and paws lost, they're destined to a life behind bars. An adult lynx, stopped in his prime, a life of agile hunting and secretive stalking is over. A disaster that could have easily been avoided. Navarro at least brings hope. His large territory is patrolled constantly as he searches for females.
When he finds one in season, he spends days serenading the potential mate. play hard to get, testing his patience before conceding. After days of tracking, his efforts are rewarded. Rarely seen behavior is played out under the stars. This brief encounter, and others like it, holds the fate of the species. As Andalusia greets another day, the future of the lynx is hopeful, but decidedly uncertain. Even with modern technologies, the elusive lynx is a challenge to find, an enigma whose secrets remain hidden in the hills. More work is needed to prevent lynx like Sierra and Vari from disappearing altogether, to stop the majestic Iberian lynx slipping off the face of the earth forever. Today, Sierra still wanders the hills of the Sierra Morena, but has not yet remated after losing her cub to the roads. Vari continues to hunt the lowlands of Doniana, but has been struck by tragedy her cub was never seen again. The Andalusian government is pushing forward to safeguard the remaining lynx. Helped by the state administration and with the aid of the specialist European Union program LIFE, there is a chance for the lynx legacy. Two months after Navarro's midnight mating, there is fresh hope. Three new faces bounce out onto the rocks. Hope for the rarest cat in the world, a dramatic European predator. Now humans must protect the last of their kind, Spain's last lynx. Sheep stop, perhaps assuming that they haven't been followed. But, solitary and silent, Sierra is about to make her move. With their focus on the wolves, the sheep are unaware as she glides in, barely making a sound with her large padded feet. Forward-facing eyes and rotating ears enable her to lock in on the target, a young sheep that has been separated from its flock. She's close enough to smell it, but patience is her virtue. This is the incredible story of Spain's last lynx.
Iberian lynx were once a common sight throughout the Iberian Peninsula, but now little more than a hundred remain in Spain. Among them, Sierra, mother of three, patrols the Morena Mountains to the north, while a young female we know as Vari stalks the lowlands of Doñana around the southern coast. Our story begins in the Morena Mountains. The prehistoric looking forest here is as mysterious as its feline overlords. Serene and peaceful to the human eye it may be, but for the animals that live here, this place is often hard and cruel. Spring arrives, bearing hope on its warm breeze. In one of the last truly wild corners of southern Spain, a secretive predator defends its final stronghold. The misty mountains of Andalusia are home to the rarest wild cat on earth the Iberian lynx. A cat that looks death in the face on a daily basis. But can it cheat death and hang on to survival? It's time to journey into this fragile wilderness to track the lives of these wild lynx in intimate detail. Enemies await at every turn but the rewards can be great for the supreme hunter. We follow two females living on different sides of the tracks, one in the mountains, the other in the lowland swamps. Two cats with one mission, to escape being caught by extinction's sweeping net. flowers bloom, the animals seem to forget their problems for a time. A rocky outcrop is a sun trap for a very special litter of lynx cubs. After three weeks underground, they enjoy their first taste of the big world. These three kittens are too young to know how harsh the world can be. Their mother will have to be vigilant if her family is to stand a chance. By the law of averages, one of her babies will be dead before it's a year old. We call her Sierra after her mountain home. She's a devoted mother and spends much of each day searching for food. A lynx can occupy a territory as big as 20 square kilometers, depending on the abundance of prey. Sierra's range is high up in the hills that locals call the Black Mountains due to the once impenetrable forests that covered this area. It's time to hunt. Skilled in the art of stealth, Sierra works on setting an ambush. But she must stay aware. Other predators, just as hungry as she is, are also on the prowl. With their strength in numbers, the wolves are serious competition. This group prepares for a hunt with a call to arms. The wolves can cause havoc for Sierra, disturbing prey as they fan out noisily through the forest. The 
the mouflon sheep panic and bolt for cover. The wolves look on, but unusually don't give chase. 